Gitavach, Rava gives advice to his sons. He says, when you cut meat, uh, don't cut it over your hand, rather cut it over a table, presumably. Um, and two reasons are given. One is danger, because one might cut his hand off by accident. And the other is that even if one um, only cuts himself a little, the, his blood will get into the meat and render it repulsive, and thus he will spoil the food. Rabbi Akiva says that there are three things that he likes about the Meids, those of Medea. He says he likes that they, um, they cut, they, they uh, do not cut meat over their hands, um, that they kiss each other on the hands only rather than on the face, and um, that they, when they are keeping counsel, they do not do so in a building, but they do so in an open field. Um, thus, um, keeping themselves safe from being overheard. Um, I don't know much about ancient Medea, but interesting to learn these habits. Uh, Rabbi Gamliel says, there are three things I like about the Persians. Uh, that they are modest when they eat, they are modest when they go to the bathroom, and they are modest in another matter, which is taken to mean marital relations. Azoi. So, um... Uh, I, I find the idea of taking counsel in a field rather than a building really good. Um, it's a, it's the sort of it's the sort of like thinking ahead that um, I think at least one of the at least uh, one of the further um, sages chime in with a verse um, that when Yaakov wanted to decided to flee from Lavan's house, he summoned Rachel and Leah to meet him in a field rather than in a building, so he could not be overheard. Um, it should be a, a good week, full of much good living, and may none of you cut your hands. Uh, Gitterbach.